here is an example of um, a problem where you have to calculate the degrees of freedom and you're using a two sample t procedure now suppose n1 is 53 and n2 is 23 so there are two independent samples one of size 53 and the other of size 23 now this is the formula that we need to use in order to calculate the degrees of freedom now if you look in the formula in order to calculate the degrees of freedom we need more than just the sample sizes of the two samples we need the standard deviation and the uh, we need the standard deviation of the first sample and the second sample and once we have found those two we can plug in all the numbers into the formula and uh, find the degrees of freedom so if the data are given in the question either use crunch it or use your ti83 or 84 calculator because here the sample size is 53 and the ti30x2s cannot handle more than um, so its limit is i think about 30 uh, sample size so i don't think it can handle the calculations so use crunch it if it's given in the question use click on crunch it and go to descriptive statistics and find the standard deviation of each of the samples once we've got the standard deviations of sample 1 which is of size 53 and sample 2 which is of size 23 we plug in the numbers into this formula which is um, quite complicated just plug in all the numbers carefully and use your calculator use parentheses so that way um, you can enter all the numbers together and hit enter you get 50 and if you're using table C which you need to in this um, in these problems you'll have to use degrees of freedom 50 now suppose the suppose the formula gave you um, let's say 76 degrees of freedom then your table if you click on the table you'll notice that the degrees of freedom are either 40 50 60 or 80 now go to the lower number which is 60 degrees of freedom that is the safer option and use the numbers related to degrees of freedom 60.